So, students typically struggle with these kind of questions. Let me quickly show you, in the previous lessons we were looking at questions like this, where we had a multiply in between, and so the 8 and the 2, did they have any exponents? No, they didn't. So what did we do? We multiplied. Then the x and the x, you simply add their exponents, and so you get x to the 4. And then at the bottom we had 2x. Now 16 and 2, there's no exponents there, so you just divide, and that's 8. Then with the x's, because they have the same base, you minus their exponents and you end up with 8x3. But now carefully look at this and then look at this one. There is now a plus, or it sometimes can be a minus, in between. So we need a different approach. So maths is all about practice and as you practice you'll start to see the different types. So what you do with these ones is you, you sort of take that part, then you take that part, and then you take that part. Let me show you that again. So you will take that part first. We'll separate that. So that will become 8x3 over 2x. Then you take the next part, which is plus 2x squared over 2x. And then the last part is plus 4x over 2x. That's the difficult part. Now it's easy. Because in the previous lesson, we looked at how to do ones like this. 8 divided by 2, well the 8 and the 2 don't have any exponents, and so you can just say 8 divided by 2, which is 4. x3 over x, well you just minus the exponents, and so that just becomes x2. 2 divided by 2 just cancels out completely, and then x2 divided by x1 just becomes x1. And then here we have 4 divided by 2, which is 2 and then the x's cancel. If you want to be technical, this exponent here is a 1 and this exponent is a 1, and so you should minus them, and so that will give you x to the 0, but anything to the power of 0 is 1. And so the final answer is 4x squared plus x plus 2. But Kevin, shouldn't we put these together now? But guys, remember, when we looked at the very first lesson of this chapter, we looked at how to add like terms. And so when you're adding like terms, we can only put them together if they are the same. Remember, in the very first lesson, we looked at stuff like x plus x plus x squared. The x and the x are the same, and so we said 2x, but then we couldn't add this part. And so this is the answer. So now we're just going to practice a lot of these. So here we go. So we've got minuses in between. So what we do is we isolate. So we take this one. And so that will be 3x3 over 3x. You then take that part over there, which will be minus 6x squared over 3x. And then you take minus 9x over 3x. Now it's easy because 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so you can say 1. Then if these are the same, then you minus the exponent, so you get x to the power of 2. Then 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, so it just becomes x1. And then 9 divided by 3 is 3. x1 over x1 just becomes x0, but anything to the power of 0 is 1. And so the final answer is x squared minus 2x minus 3. So maybe you want to pause the video and try these two. So when we've got pluses and minuses in between like that, we want to isolate. So we will say minus 4x3 over x squared. That was this part over this part. Then we say plus 3x squared over x squared. And then the last part, 2x4 over x squared. That's the difficult part. This is the easy part. So 4 minus 4, there's nothing, there's no other number at the bottom. So that just stays minus 4. For the x's, you say 3 minus 2, which is 1, plus, this just stays 3. Now x2 and x2 becomes x0, which is just 1, so you can ignore that part. And then this part just becomes 2x, and then 4 minus 2 is 2. And so the final answer is minus 4x plus 3 plus 2x squared. Number 2. So what we do is we first isolate that part. So we write it as minus 3x over 3x. Then it's minus 6x squared over 3x. And then it's plus 8x4 over 3x. So here we go. If you want, you can type this in on your calculator. Three, minus 3 divided by 3 will just give you minus 1. 
x1 over x1, if you minus the exponents, you get x0. Now x0 is just 1, so you can ignore that. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then 2 minus 1 is 1. 8 cannot divide by 3, so we just leave it as 8 over 3. And then x4 over x1 becomes 4 minus 1, and that's just x3, number 3. So we isolate it, so it's 6x squared over x plus 8x over x plus 3 over x. So 6 is just going to stay 6. This is a 2 minus 1, which just becomes x to the 1. 8 will just stay 8, and then the x1 and x1 becomes x0 if you minus them, but then that just cancels because anything to the power of 0 is 1. And then when you get a situation like this where you've got an x at the bottom and nothing at the top, then leave it just like that. That is the answer. So we isolate everything, so we take that part first. So minus 3x4 over 3x squared. Then we take the middle part, and then we take that part over there. That's going to be minus 3x over 3x squared. Okay, so now minus 3 divided by 3 is just minus 1. 4 minus 2 just becomes x2. 8 over 3 doesn't work, so you just leave it as 8 over 3. 2 minus 2 is 0, so that's x0. But remember, that's just a 1, so we ignore that. So it's just 8 over 3. And then this one's quite interesting. So it's minus 3 divided by 3, which is just 1. Now we have an x1 at the top and an x2 at the bottom. And you should always say top minus bottom. So that's going to give you 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So we haven't looked at this in this chapter yet. So that's going to be x to the minus 1. Now, a rule in maths is, is that you're not allowed to write your answers with a negative exponent. This is okay, that's not an exponent. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have to rewrite that number in a different way. So what we're going to have to do is to make this a positive again, you're going to have to take it to the bottom. So this 1 can stay where it is. Then at the bottom, you'll just have x, but now it will be positive 1. And that's your answer. Let's practice a few more of those. All right, so here we go. So we isolate it first, so it's 12x... Oh no, this is now number 5. So it's going to be 12x squared over 3x squared minus 6x over 3x squared minus 9 over 3x squared. And so 12 divided by 3 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. And so that part actually just falls away. Then we've got 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Now we have 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. And then when you already have something like this one, where the x2 is already at the bottom and it's positive, and there's no x at the top, then just leave it, just like that. However, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then at the bottom, you've still got x squared. Now we see here we've got a negative exponent. So what we do is we... So this minus 2 is fine where it is. But this x minus 1 will have to go to the bottom like that. You see, so we don't take we don't take this whole part to the bottom because the minus 2 is fine. It's the x that has the negative exponent, so that needs to go to the bottom. And then this minus 3 over x squared is still fine. So let's practice a little bit more. So this one's quite good. Remember step 1, isolate, or like separate them. So 3x squared over 3x5 minus 6x over 3x5 minus 12x4 over 3x5. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So we write it like that. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then there's a little 1 over here, so 1 minus 5 is minus 4. See, it's always the top number minus the bottom number. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 minus 5 is minus 1. There we go. So now we need to look for any negative exponents, in which case, in this scenario, all of them are negative. So the way it works is the following. You leave this alone. That number is fine. And you take the x3 to the bottom. This number is fine. So you say minus 2 
over, then that's going to become x to the 4. If you want to make this look a bit better, you put the minus in between like that. Then you can put the minus. Now this 4 is happy, so leave it there. But the x with the minus 1 will go to the bottom as x1.